Let's consider sharing in the case where I have two cells which are connected uh, in series as uh, shown over here. So again in uh, green is my good cell and it has a nice looking IV characteristic uh, like this. Okay, And in red I have my bad cell. So this poor guy it maybe had a leaf fall on top of it or it had uh, some soil accumulate on top of it. And that has resulted in an IV characteristic which uh, look uh, like this. So I would call this as my IV characteristic of my bad cell. And you can see the short circuit current of this bad cell has decreased, so has its uh, open circuit uh, voltage. So now what would be, what would be the overall IV characteristic of these two cells connected uh, in series, okay? And uh, I know again from my high school physics or my freshman engineering that when two elements are connected uh, in uh, series their uh, voltages add up okay and the current through them remains the same so if i have these two cells the current through them would remain the same while the voltage across them would add up okay and again i notice that this good cell it has a much higher uh, current as compared to the bad cell and since since these two things are connected in series it's uh, it's you know like that saying that a chain is only as good as its weakest link link so even though this good cell can uh, produce a much higher current and also produce a much higher voltage the current through the overall system is generally limited by the current uh, of the bad cell okay so it's the weak link which limits the strength of my overall cell okay so what i would expect is the iv characteristic of this overall system would look something like this where you know the voltages uh, across these two cells would add up and the current would be essentially equal to or should be close to the uh, to the current uh, in the bad cell okay now the only thing i'm left to determine is what exactly should be the value of this uh, short circuit current okay or what should be the short circuit current of uh, this uh, overall system the voltages we already know they would uh, just add up so the voltage of uh, this uh, overall system if this was uh, v1 and if this was uh, v2 we know that the overall system it would have the voltage which would be equal to v1 plus uh, v2 okay but what about the short circuit current so should it be equal to the good cell we again know that that's not possible because the bad cell would not allow uh, would not allow that amount of current to pass through it okay should it be equal to that of the bad cell or should it be somewhere in uh, between okay so now you know if I reason with my mind and think about it that uh, what does this uh, what does this condition corresponds to okay so this condition corresponds to the overall system being uh, short circuited which corresponds to this image where I have this uh, wire which I have essentially connected uh, across the system so I have short circuited uh, this uh, entire system such that the voltage across the series combination of uh, these two cells is uh, equal to zero but that doesn't mean that individually each of these cells is uh, short circuited okay what could in fact be very much happening is that uh, this uh, good cell it might be uh, forward bias okay with uh, a certain voltage and this uh, bad cell it can be reverse bias with uh, an equal but uh, negative voltage okay and the sum of these two uh, is equal to zero but that doesn't mean the voltage across these individual cells is zero okay so the overall system 
is a short circuited but that doesn't mean that uh, the individual cell is a short circuited in fact that is uh, this condition of uh, the good cell being uh, forward bias and the bad cell being reverse bias is in fact needed for uh, achieving the over overall short circuit uh, in the system okay so what would happen when uh, the overall system is uh, short circuited is my good cell is essentially is still going to be under forward bias okay so it's still going to operate at uh, this particular voltage but my bad cell is essentially reverse bias it's operating in this particular regime okay such so that uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, consuming power instead of uh, producing power so this uh, good cell is uh, producing power and this bad cell is uh, going to consume that uh, power okay and uh, the overall overall voltage that you see across the system is uh, equal to zero okay and the overall current would uh, which would be essentially flowing would correspond to correspond to the current at uh, this particular voltage okay an easy way to essentially remember what this uh, short circuit uh, current of the overall system would be is to take uh, the uh, draw the iv characteristic of the good cell okay and now draw the uh, iv characteristic of the bad cell but flip them around flip that around the y axis okay so i'll draw the iv characteristic of the bad cell okay like this and when these two curves meet that would correspond to that would correspond to the short circuit current of uh, the overall system okay and you can reason why that would be the case that would be the case because at this particular at this particular point the good cell is forward bias okay and the bad cell is a reverse bias okay with the same voltage across them okay but in opposite uh, polarities so this would corresponds to the overall system being uh, seeing no voltage across it but you are seeing that uh, there is uh, a short circuit current which uh, flows through the system and this short circuit current is in fact slightly higher okay depend as compared to the short circuit current of the bad cell and that depends upon the slope that uh, the iv characteristic of this uh, bad cell has in the reverse bias uh, region okay but you see over here that the overall short circuit current is slightly higher than the short circuit current of the bad cell okay so keep that in mind and we'll talk about uh, sharing more in the next video